Jalian wala bag. You feel suffocated when you go there. Not just that. You don't also realize that you know a few weeks later, uh, Dyer was actually given a saropa in uh, in the yes. Golden Temple. Now that is bad in itself. But when you go there, you realize that the Jallian Wala Bagh and the Golden Temple are 300 meters apart. Yeah, you're literally going to the same location, and you are being honored for carrying out genocide. Tell me about the influence of Marxism on the revolutionaries. And one of the very first people to read about uh, the uh, Marxism in India is, of course, Bhagat Singh. Hmm. But it is very important to remember. that bhagat singh is not the founder of uh, the communist movement in india yeah. he is in fact himself a part of a explicitly nationalist movement what happens is that the communist movement begins to uh, gather pace in the 1930s uh, some of it is russian support but interestingly uh, also reason was that the british actually supported the spread of marxist literature in indian jails to the revolutionaries to in order to divide them hmm. uh, from the nationalists so many revolutionaries went into jail as nationalists and came, came out, out as... as marxists and of course uh, by the ni- 1930s uh, who controls the communist party it's british communists the marxist uh, uh, former revolutionaries now marxists uh, uh, communists uh, side with uh, the british during the second world war uh, and so you have uh, the communist party leaders calling um netaji as you know running dog of tojo and you know criticizing him and so on so <clears throat> that is how it happens now what happens unfortunately is that emin roy the original founder of the cpi drifts off from the party and of course after independence there is another problem that uh, you know they had said all these bad things about uh, people like netaji and they didn't really participate in the freedom, freedom struggle. struggle so they adopt bhagat singh as a sort of see our guy had also participated in in mm. in the freedom struggle but in fact bhagat singh had nothing to do with the communist party of india mm. um so they are retrospectively uh, bringing him back and that is why you have the strange situation three people are hanged on the same day for the same crime bhagat singh sukhdev thapar and rajguru you only hear about bhagat singh why because he has been resurrected by uh, the marxists many people think that the revolutionaries were atheists and agnostic not at all very large part of the uh, of the revolutionary movement is directly derived from not just hinduism but a specific branch of it the shaktiism mm-hmm. uh, many of them were very strong shaktas uh, i e worshipers of bhavani or uh, durga or kali and so on many of the initiations into the revolutionary movement happened with a Uh, you know a text in gita or veda or something in one hand a sword or a revolver in the other hand and the oath was taken to durga or bhavani or kali so shaktiism is a very important part of this when you listen to vande mataram the first two stanzas are relatively secular about the uh, the motherland but the next three are clearly derived from uh, shakta image Im- imagery so uh, the part of vande mataram which not many people recite yes Click here to watch the full episode.